with them. So out there in lane one, he was away from the danger and able to swim his own race. The women's SB11 on their way. Maria Reichard from Sweden had a great swim this morning in the heats. World record holder goes next to her in lane number five. Stephanie Duard from France in lane number one. Martina Rabellini for Italy in lane number two. Anna Breschner, silver medalist, World Championships last year. Hi, Richard. Dominant in this event over the past five years. But the world record has recently been set by this young lady, 15-year-old, the set Paramsma. Nadia Baez from Argentina in six. Daniela Schulte in seven. And Elizabeth Eagle in lane number eight from Estonia. Lizette Bronsma just feeling her way to the blocks there. Just getting her bearings by finding out where the front of the blocks are setting herself. Trying to get off in a straight line. That's vital. Two ladies in the centre lanes here, definitely the informed swimmer. Mira Reka getting the best start, and we saw she's got the speed because she broke the world record in the 50 metre freestyle event for this classification. But Lizette Bronsma, she broke the world record in this actual event in April of this year. So the old exp older, experienced Mira Rickard against the young gun, Lizette Bronsma. And they're already neck and neck, and we're in for a really exciting race, Paul. Well, Maya Richard held the world record prior to it being broken by Lizette Brownsma, and these two are not disappointing. Maya Richard is just about leading, just about by five one hundredths of a second, and she got a good turn up into her stroke quickly, and she's in the centre of the lane. Both swimmers doing well to stay off those ropes. Yeah, Maya Rickard, we did see her in the centre of the lane. There's always a danger that these S11 swimmers are going to veer over and end up swimming an extra few metres. And there we see now Maya Rickard on the left-hand lane. Lizette Brunsma managing to stay in a bit of a straighter line. But we have seen Lizette Brunsma struggle with her tapping at the end of the races. So we're in for an exciting finish here as they, they are stroke for stroke into this final 15 metres. Well, they are coming in now. 10 metres to go. It does look like Brunsma is just about edging it. It's all going to be on the tap, Rijkaard coming back strongly and it is very close and it's another dead heat, I cannot believe it, 125.47 and they have dead heated for the gold medal, absolutely unbelievable, two dead heats tonight here in Funchal, uh, Jana Breschner will take the bronze but 125.47 Effort. Can you believe it, Lee? That was an incredible race and an incredible finish. And again, we saw Lizette Brunsma just put in that extra stroke there, Paul, when she'd been tapped. And I was afraid that that was going to have cost her the gold medal, but that was a brilliant race. And they were so evenly matched. And like, that's great to see when two S11 swimmers are neck and neck the entire way because it really does show you that they're on the limit of what an S11 swimmer can go. Well, here is a turn. I can't had the edge only by five one hundredths of a second and that was a fantastic battle between these two slightly different strokes high our head by Brunsma at this point Rijkaard diving for the wall and oh that extra stroke oh that is what did it but Maya Rijkaard is absolutely delighted with that one Lizette Brunsma is equally happy <laughs> and the two champions embrace each other at the end of that race youth and experience there paul and uh, the zip Bransma. it's her first international major competition and she's having a stormer and uh, i think we can see another but we can look forward to another battle between these two come rio 2016. Brosma and Reichard share the title in the women's 100 breaststroke sp11 with jana breschner the bronze for Ukraine. 